What's up YouTube, it's Richmatic back with another video. This time I'm talking about that Nintendo Direct that took place the 13th of February. Um, it's been a couple days after it, but I finally got a chance to watch the entire conference and not just see what was announced. So I thought I would talk about the games I'm interested in. Usually when I watch these things, I already know which games I want straight off the bat and what games I'm going to skip. So I figured I would just talk about the ones I'm interested in. And we'll get right into it. Uh, first game I got is um, Super Mario Maker 2. Um, I've seen people play Super Mario Maker 1 on YouTube. The user generated levels look so good. They look a lot of fun. Some of them look really frustrating, but people look like they had a really good time with the game. And I'm a sucker for Super Mario Bros. 3 and Super Mario World on the Super Nintendo. So playing custom levels with those sound like a great time i can't wait to get that game i thought we were going to get a port of super mario maker but i'm glad that we get just get a full sequel and it's going to be great can't wait for that game it's going to be dope tetris 99 this game is out right now you can get it on the nintendo online store you get the classic puzzle game that you can play against 99 other people i guess or you're the 99th person i'm not really sure Either way, you already know what you're getting with the Tetris game. Um, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Um, I played Bloodstained Curse of the Moon, got to the end. Haven't beaten it yet, but it's a very good game. I highly recommend it. It's only nine bucks on the uh, Nintendo store. So play that if you wanna get a good feel for what you can expect in the sequel. Um, if you play Castlevania, you know what to expect. Everyone's waiting for this game. It's going to be great. I already know I'm getting that day one. No problem. No questions asked. Mortal Kombat 11. Um, I'm getting that on the PlayStation 4, but it's good to have options. So if you don't have one of the other two, you can get it on the Switch. Also, the aspect of having it pro portable. Sorry. Yeah, the aspect of having it portable, you know, that kind of adds to that factor as well. Yoshi's Crafted World. I want this game, but... I can't really justify a $60 purchase of this Yoshi game. And I love Yoshi games. I've had um, Yoshi's Island 2, Yoshi's Story. Those are the last ones I had. But this one, I, it looks good graphically. It's just Yoshi games are too easy nowadays. So I can't justify a $60 purchase. I'll probably wait till it's like $19.99 or if I really want to support the game, $29.99. But most likely $20 is where I want to pay for this game. If you're interested in Yoshi games and you want to get that, hey, more props to you. Go ahead and get it. Um, Astral Chain. As soon as I saw this game and saw how smooth it was at like 60 frames per second, and they were doing like a sliding kick on the ground at the bad guy, I already knew this was Platinum Games. So you can already sign me up for that. Platinum Games, always making those great hack and slash games. Can't wait for it. Um, the anime style is kind of hit and miss for some people. I'm not huge into anime, but you know, I'm willing to play it anyway, so I'll take that game. There's Demon X Machina. There's a demo out for this. I'm not huge on mech games, but this one looks kind of cool. So I'll probably give the demo a chance. If I'm feeling it, I'll get the game. Maybe I'll talk about it more. If I'm not feeling it, well, I'll just delete it and move on with my day. Give it a chance. Let me know what you think in the comments if it's worth my time. Maybe you've already tried it out. Yeah, on to the next one. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, definitely can't wait for that game. It's gonna be great. I played the first two, it was a lot of fun. Uh, they definitely need to add some more characters. I know right now they have the Guardians of the Galaxy, Avengers, the X-Men, but you gotta add like, you gotta add my man Moon Knight. I'm gonna get this game regardless, but I really wanna see Moon Knight show up in this game. That's my favorite like underrated character, yeah, just Add some more characters. The supers are looking great. You can do combined supers. So yeah, Nintendo um, exclusive as well. So yeah, we already know this. That game's gonna be dope. Dragon Quest 11 S, the <laughs> Echoes of the Elusive Age Definitive Edition. That is a long name. Uh, every time I check for this game, it gets really good reviews. People seem to love it as much as uh, about Persona 5, maybe less or more i don't really know but either way people say it's good um on the switch version you get more uh content in the game you can also switch to a 16-bit style which looks cool never played a dragon quest game but i do want to try it out um, i love a good rpg 
everyone says that this is a great game, so why not give it a chance? Um, Deltarune. Deltarune and, um, what's the other game? Undertale. They seem to have a big cult following. The community seems to love these two games. Apparently there's some comedic efforts into the game that people enjoy. Uh, it might be worth giving it a chance, especially since this one is free. I think episode one of Deltarune is free. So maybe I'll give it a chance. Plus I love RPGs, so why not? Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy IX. Uh, if you haven't already played these for some reason, you can download them now on the Switch. Not really sure will they skip Final Fantasy VIII, but Final Fantasy VIII always seems to get shafted when it comes to the Final Fantasy history. No one really seems to give a shit about that game. I care about it. I love my boy Squall, Leon, whatever you want to call him. But uh, yeah, you get to play those two now, so check them out if you haven't already. I'll probably get Final Fantasy IX because I never finished it, but yeah, I already had Final Fantasy VII, VIII, and a bunch of them on a bunch of different consoles, so yeah. Fire Emblem Three Houses. I've never played a Fire Emblem game. I'm definitely excited to jump into the series and see what it's all about. I watched a couple reviews on the old ones. People seem to really enjoy them. It looks like it's just a strategy RPG kind of mixed together. You can level up your characters, join one of the three factions, and I guess conquer the other two. But I'll check this game out and let people know if it's any good as a newcomer to the series. Um, let me know if you think it's a great game. And yeah, on to the next one. And Link's Awakening. This is kind of strange to me because Link's Awakening was a Game Boy game, but everyone seems to love this game so much. So when I saw it was getting remastered for the Switch, I already knew people were going to be freaking out. I didn't freak out because I never played the game, but I'm interested to give it a try. You know, more Legend of Zelda is always welcome in my book. and. Seeing how pe hyped people were for this game, it's kind of building my hype as well. So, can't wait to play that game. It looks really cool. I like the art style. And, you know, props to Nintendo for doing these directs. They've always had things that I've liked. I know a lot of people don't seem to like them for whatever dumbass reason, but hey, they're giving us quality games. I'm never going to turn down quality games. Hopefully, you found something you like. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what you're looking forward to in the comments, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.